polar bear update. He's right here. Hello, mate. What's up guys, what's going on? Good morning, welcome to Canada. We're in the high Arctic. Uh, I think we're at about 79 degrees north at the moment. It's bloody freezing. We're coming towards the end of our Arctic expedition. Uh, it's been fantastic. I think we've only got three days left. So we're squeezing as much into those three days as we possibly can. I'm talking Zodiac rides, hikes, uh, helicopter rides. We are on Captain Klebnikov, which is the name of this ship. I didn't actually vlog much yesterday, but here are a couple of the highlights. We went to a weather station and here is Bob to explain some of the instruments that are used to measure the weather. Uh, you, you want a quick few minute program? Yeah, science with Bob. With ladies and gentlemen, or shall I? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen would be perfect, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're standing in the meteorological exclosure of Eureka Station, one of the Canadian high arctic weather stations. This is effectively the heart of it, where the instruments have been and where records have been maintained from the late 1940s. There's a number of things around that you can see in almost any meteorological station. The Stevenson screens, which have the maximum and minimum thermometers, the hygrometers and standard instruments like that. These ones are ventilated, but in the tropics or wherever you'll find the same white louvered apparatus. They look like the beehives. Look like the beehives. <laughs> Here, and the instrument you can see further away, are for measuring precipitation. This one will principally collect rain. That one, with the baffles, the flaps hanging round it, is for measuring the depth of snow, the amount of snow accumulating. The instrument just over here has the anemometer on top, so you're getting the strength and direction of the wind. And the instrument on the side of it is looking downwards. That measures the depth of the snow as it constantly increases during winter and decreases as spring comes on. You have the same instruments over there confirming the results and two anemometers on the top of the tower. There's also ground thermometers. They'll be over here. I haven't explained these in detail because there's not much to see there underground. But for calibration, you'll observe the practical side of things. There's a broom to sweep the snow off in winter. Thank you so much, Bob. It was probably a minute and a half, wasn't it? Yeah. Bob is incredible. He's actually a senior associate of the Scott Polar Research Institute at the University of Cambridge. We also saw a weather balloon go up, which was really interesting. See you later, balloon. It's a very uplifting experience. And we took a helicopter to go and check out some musk ox. Oh, it's totally working. They look like they've got dreadlocks. Yo, know, Bob Marley. Uh, as you can see, it's time to go on these helicopters for another little excursion. One more vital piece of information I need to tell you. It is the 4th of September and it's mine and Nicole's four year anniversary today. I'm so sad I'm not with Nicole for this. She's in South Africa in Cape Town and I'm as high north in the Arctic as I've ever been. This is the furthest distance we've ever been away from each other. So this vlog today is dedicated to you, bub. Is it good, yeah? It's good, yeah, yeah. Beautiful view of the glacier. Yeah, you're in for a good ride. Okay, my mission for this helicopter ride is to get a photograph that's good enough to print and give to Nicole as an anniversary gift. Seeing as she can't be here in the Arctic with me, I've got to capture a piece of it and give it to her. So fingers crossed we get some good views. I got two cameras today, 5D SR with the 16-35 and the 1DX Mark II with the 70-200. And I'm going to try and get a couple of vlog shots as well, but the priority is going to be photography.
Okay, I'd say that was a. Oh, that's that's Tom with a weather balloon. <laughs> Loving life. I reckon that was a relatively successful helicopter trip. There's a couple of images that I really like that I think I could print. Uh, maybe that's one of them. This one. I really like this image. And that one. One of those two I think I'm going to print for Nicole. Right, well, what do we do now? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> cheers. Cheers, bro. Apparently, it looks like we're going to mash through a bit of ice. Let's go get the cameras after this beer. Okay, we are out on deck with all our camera gear because suspiciously we're not heading straight through the ice. And I feel like we might be observing something like a polar bear or something. It's not a massive piece of ice. Oh, wait. Have you seen straight it? Ahead. Straight ahead. Yeah, Is it far? I need to switch lenses. Oh yeah, he's uh, it's quite far away, but a bit closer than before. Hey bear. Polar bear. Polar bear, polar bear, polar bear, polar bear, polar bear. Okay, we've moved all the way around the other side of the, the, uh, the ice. Let's try and get a little bit closer to the bear. It's not moving. Got a couple of okay shots of him. A little, little bit closer. But yeah, looking good. It's definitely the closest I've been to a polar bear. This is awesome. He's very, very sleepy by the looks of things. He must have just had a big snack on a seal. Got a couple of photos of him. A little bit of video. I'm happy with that. He is quite far away. Mountains look great though. Look at those. Hello. Polar bear update. He's right here. Hello mate. Hey bear. Yeah. Oh, he's so curious. Hey buddy. Oh my gosh. My fingers are about to fall off. rides for that right there. So good, so good. Yeah. You wanted to come on board. I'm pretty sure you wanted to give me a big hug. I've been out there for two hours. I'm, just, I'm so cold. That's amazing. So we've got one last photo mission that we want to do. And then we can go get a beer. Go bro, go. Oh, so I stay up here? Yeah. 
It's gotta be minus 10 degrees out here and Ben's been out here for at least two hours. Hey Ben. <laughs> Tim is slightly more important than the polar bear. GTS! Best day ever. Shame man, I miss Nicole, I miss Nicole so much right now. I wish she was here. There's no direction that's not amazing. <sighs> wow. I feel like I was here only a week ago saying, I can't believe we just saw humpback whales. And now we have this crazy footage and photos of the polar bear as well. So good. I think we've earned a beer tonight, bro. We have. Definitely. Yeah, maybe one or two beers, what are you one saying? One or two, yeah, tonight's a celebration, I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna end the vlog yet. Do you want a bit of Kevin's birthday whiskey? Thank you, Kevin. Happy birthday. <laughs> Cheers. Sure, yeah. Oh, Chris is still cooler than a polar bear's toenails. <laughs> Chris, if you could say that again for the vlog. <laughs> what, this is a song of Danny's new album? Yeah. <laughs> I had a dream that I stole the maps. I erased all the borders and that was that. I cut the power and sprung the traps. I knocked down the walls and laid them flat. I had a dream that I won the vote. I opened all the cages and drained the moats. I threw out a line and I hauled in the boats. I handed out flowers and welcome notes. I had a dream that we all locked arms and vowed to keep each other from harm. I had a dream that I stole their clips. Ran out of bullets and their guns went click, click, love. Love. Love, love, love. Would you cool for love? I said it before, I'll say it again. Go and check out Danny's music. I will link it in the description. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to a successful day. Cheers. Fine day. Cheers. A very fine day indeed. Cheers. Yes. And a beer. Chorus. 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 <laughs> right guys, I have had the best evening ever. It is 3 a.m. Can you believe it? We're heading south. I'm having the best time. I'm going to be sad to leave this boat, I think. Happy anniversary, Nicole. Four years. I love you so much and I wish you were here. But I will say goodnight to you guys. I will see you tomorrow. In the meantime, remember to work hard, be nice to people, and try not to get lost or killed. I love you guys. Goodbye. Commander Hadfield, does it ever get old flying? Uh, I've never been in an airplane that uh, had enough gas that went fast enough or that I flew enough ever. Even the space shuttle didn't go fast enough. <laughs> Even One of those two, I think, I'm going to print for Nicole for our four year wedding anniversary. Wedding anniversary? Whoa. Whoa. I'm just gonna cut that out. I should freak out if I said that.